Thank you so much for keeping it the buzz UG, the only platform that will keep you posted on the biggest stories making headlines in the country. And there's nobody else to give you these updates apart from I and I, Melads Milo, aka Fula. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Eddie Kenzo's manager, Martin Better, has been accused of being one of the abductors of the opposition supporters. Some of the NUP supporters, especially on Twitter, have revealed that Martin Better is one of the people torturing the abducted NUP supporters in the torture chambers. Now, Eddie Kenzo has defended his manager that Martin Better went for shooting one day and he put on that UPDF uniform. He says that we shouldn't believe these jobless people making false accusations. He further added that NUP, Bobby Wine's camp, is no longer a political party. They are fighting music battles, Omukulu no Muto, and Yasinga. Well, some people have seen this statement as an attack on Bobby Wine's camp. I don't know what you think about it, but yeah, that's what is coming in from Eddie Kenzo's camp. Jeno Kahinda Otafire's son, Ernesto Otafire, has told Jeno MK to remain humble, stating that their fathers are in the evening of their regime. Now, in his own words, he said, Our fathers are in the evening of their regime. It's high time you became humble. These Jenos and people you taunt will owe us nothing when our fathers are no more. When chasing us into exile, make sure you can run as fast as some of us. I am sure you know what exile means. This country doesn't belong to any of us. It was here before we came, it has been here, and it will be here long after we are gone. Be humble and calm down, brother. Well, there you go. A very clear advice coming from General Kahindo Tafire's son, Ernesto Otafire, going out direct to General Muhozi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son. Now, the tweeting general, President Museveni's son, Muhozi Kainerugaba, is trending so big time with his controversial, others terrific statements on Twitter. Muhozi has said that very soon, when he's the president of Uganda, he's going to crush all the journalists who are fond of abusing him or even criticizing him negatively. He said this statement through his Twitter handle yesterday, and in his own words, for some of those journalists that like to abuse us, let me say, nobody will protect you when we come to power. You will feel us soon. We will crush you. <laughs> A very big wow. Actually, very many people can't believe this statement is coming from a four-star general from the National Army. And unfortunately, it's directed to the members of the fourth estate. And some people have said that um, if he becomes president, we may not have freedom of speech in Uganda. It's going to be chibok kuchibok, chibok kuchibok. <laughs> but I think in this era, you cannot fight the media. Even when journalists are pushed into exile, they will still report facts on ground. Anyway, that's one of the latest statements coming in from General MK's camp. And we are still waiting for the big announcement he talked about yesterday. And I also read his other tweet that he's been invited for a chat with his uncle, General Salim Saleh. We are waiting for whatever will be coming from that side. And I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, be part of the Buzz UG by subscribing and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.